Welcome back to Clockwise Crypto, where we help you move forward towards financial freedom with crypto assets. We're going to be diving in to Bitcoin technical analysis and getting a lot of feedback. Let's dive in. Why do we still have Bitcoin dropping some, you know, the news with the uh, with, you know, President Biden making that announcement as well as. Well, you know, which give or take was not necessarily good news, but it, it wasn't necessarily bad news as well. Uh, but why do we still have Bitcoin dropping to thirty one thousand one hundred dollars? So let's clearing clear the chart, as you can see here. And what I'm seeing is a level of resistance at this top level right here. I'm seeing a resistance right here. A lot of a lot of resistance there, a lot of touches. The price has gone up to the top and just has continually went up, dropped, went up, dropped, continually respected this level. And so what I'm seeing here in this pullback is a wedge. They call this a descending triangle. And so that's what I'm seeing. And <clears throat> you know, some others may, you know, don't want to see this. You know, we're you know, I know we're in Bitcoin for the long haul. I get it, but the technicals are the technicals. This is what the market is giving us right now. So looking at this wedge, this descending wedge, there has been nothing to show me. There has been no point that's been broken that can really confirm that this is any bullish momentum. Right now, we're looking like we're going to drop. So a confirmation that this descending uh, triangle and this this wedge is bearish is if you see it make a new low is this going to make a new low so let's look and kind of draw points to look at dive deeper into the chart and some key points to look at and this is the daily time frame so you have plenty of time to to react the way if you're if you are trading you have plenty of time to really monitor these levels so one area and we're going to make these a separate color here just so you guys can really see. So let's make make the levels that we're gonna look at. Let's make, I'm gonna change them to red. So the first level would be right here to look at. Now this will probably be the first break. So let's make this red. This will probably be the first break um, on the daily time frame. Uh, this will be a con one confirmation right here. A break of this level. So technically we just wanna break here. So Let's go down here and just this level of support here, right? Line this up perfectly. So right there. So price point $37,100 would be the first level you could see broken. Kind of confirm that we are having a ton of bearish momentum. As we've seen, it's still extreme fear in the market. Despite the news, despite what's happening with XRP and and XRP looking like they're in a good position, um, even though they are talking settlement, uh, people inside XRP um, on the team are saying very good news should be coming. Uh, so even with that news that's that's come out, you know we're still seeing just a lot of fear and uncertainty. So that level will be the first level. The second level I would have, we would put it right here, which would be breaking this low point right here. And so we'll mark that across here. So these are two levels to pay attention to because. It's just a level, two levels of major support that are going to be broken or looking to be. We are looking to be broken. I'm saying they are. They didn't happen yet, but you know our analysis is saying they're going to be broken. And if you want to really be technical and really precise, I would say a break below this wick right here as well. Break below this wick, and we'll draw a circle here. A break below that wick where the trend line starts here so this price point would be thirty two thousand eight hundred and ninety and so we have we have this breaking and we have this going both further below going to the weekly time frame we are we see here as to why we see an engulfing candle right here so to be honest with you really it's just straight across from this engulfing uh as a as some people call it, order block. And with this order block here, we will draw straight across to this entire zone, which we are looking like we may be 
we may be touching. So this entire zone here is what we're looking at. And going to the four hour time frame, we can see even just a ton of indecision right now. So right now we're in a box, a ton of indecision still. Uh, so on the four hour time frame, what we would put is, have it right here, look for a break, a bearish break right here. Confirm level support in, in the consolidation. As we can see, if we zoom in a little closer, price isn't going anywhere. It's just ranging back and forth. And if you want to even get more precise, you can see, look for a break right here. So another break will be 38.3, a little bit more precise than what we went earlier. And another break right here would be 37, 37 one. again. So those two areas will be what we'd be looking at ultimately we would expect to make a new low, make a new low right here and break this, break this low point right here and make a new low. Once that happens, that confirms either way. And the same thing goes for a, a bullish scenario. So let's look up top, looking up top here around 46,000. Looking up top, we see the same thing. That would be the, the same holds true either way. Um, right now, all the momentum from what I'm seeing looks like because of that wedge we see on the daily time frame, it looks like we're going to break bearish and head down towards 31,000. That's that's what you know we're holding true to. Uh, let us know on Twitter. Let us know in the comments here uh, what you think. But right now, you know, looking at a break, a break of 40, 44, 6, a break and close above. I would say just to be safe, I would say we need a break of 45, 5. Um, so moving this up a little bit, making sure it touches, breaking above the wick, not just touching the wick, but also a candle closing above the wick as well. Getting a candle close firm above the uh, wick would be what I want to see. Um, right now, we are looking pretty uh, bearish in terms of just the pullback. Like I said, unless we break below here, we're, we're, we're um, bullish until further notice overall, but this is a bearish pullback. That we've been going through and that's okay this is a, this is the time like we've been saying every day this is the time to accumulate this is the time to take your positions you see the whales are buying if you look in the articles uh of large wallet addresses 10 bitcoin or more uh those wallet addresses are accumulating more bitcoin so take heed to what's going on here like i said i'll put this up here just so everyone can see what we're looking at again uh resistance up top we have it right here Level, level of resistance, but then we also have a uh, counter trend line as well. Pulling all the way across here, mark that in red. That's the key level we're looking to break. Both of these are key levels though. If we break above, this is confirmation. Um, I Like I said, I would go for that wick. Go for the highest wick right here and mark this right here. Go for this highest wick to be broken and closed above. Uh, take a look at that wick. You wanna see it broken and closed above, making a new high uh, in, a, in the, uh, short term time frame kind of changing the trend um, but if we break below this trend line right here it, please expect the next level and like we said with the fibs we expect the next level to be 31,000 fibs are saying uh, 29.5 uh, which is making a, a new low which is a possibility which would mean we're in a we're in a bear market which would mean we're, we're bearish overall uh, the most previous higher low point ha would be, would have been broken as we see in a weekly time frame. Looking here, this would be the most uh, previous higher low point for the overall trend that would be broken. So hopefully we don't reach that point, but I do have a 32, 31 range pulling back there. Uh, not a lot, a lot of people are telling me no, 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 but the technicals are the technicals and that's what we see. So hope you guys have a great Sunday. Dive into the technicals, uh, see what's going on in the market. Use this time as an opportunity to accumulate and deepen your position because this isn't going anywhere. This uh, Bitcoin's not going anywhere. The crypto market isn't going anywhere, as you can see. And like I said, this is not financial advice, but it's just what we do. And we want to help you achieve financial freedom through crypto assets. We'll see you soon.